Alright. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to the Five Way Line of Universe. I'm your host, John Eccles, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Home. On the previous episode, we did the few social links and I thought you could tell the family. Yay! Let's see, who's the next closest one that uh, we take a pop? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. about that. Okay, she is not here. I done restate last time, so let's see if Kanji is up for drinking up. Kanji is here. Yay, Kanji is here. Oh, no, I got a piece to a piece of shit. Can't be. Here, it's just a piece of deal with it. That's it? I'm gonna pay twenty thousand dollars for him from here. Up either? Hey. Star break continues. Ring, 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 ring. Just keep things desperate. Sure. We had nothing better to do. If our grades were very, very terrible during the on the final midterms, Kanji would call you and say that we had to go to summer school instead of just get to. Oh, there's so many people who just poured us here, so. It's just so freaking tiring. I'd be a zombie by now if you weren't here with you. Welcome! We have. We got shade dogs here with all your flavor. Flavor. My <laughs> favorite flavors. Here around the hair as well. Enjoying the tasty snack of frosty shade dogs. Oh, I get hot today. Hey, you can have a good day. You help Yosuke in the food cart with the sun blades down and bond me. We're getting closer to everyone. You worked hard at Tunis. Now Friday afternoon. After the days of hard labor and the blistering heat, Teddy seems to be slowing down. Welcome everyone, beat the heat and eat some meat. <laughs> uh, yak Yakiniku grilled steak. Sparked ginger chow down and restored the energy the brutal summer days have taken from me. <laughs> got our tender delicious beef. Ah, Teddy's very dedicated, isn't he? I'm melting the short sleeves shirt and he's wearing that huge costume and he's standing in front of the griddle. How does he do it? Yep, yes, you helped Yosuke in front of the food court. Well, the sun blazed down upon me. You're getting closer, everyone. Hey, tomorrow's the summer festival, remember? We have something that's trying tomorrow, right? Night, okay? 
Today is the last day you have to work for your space. Yes, you earn 40,000 yen for your work. The summer festival begins today. You're supposed to meet up with everyone, all your friends. <sighs> Funny. I remember this festival being a lot more crowded. Is it because of the murders? Yeah, there ain't that many people here this year. Well, I guess you can't blame people for being scared. Haven't seen the reporters around either. They sure are good at stirring shit up and then disappearing. Huh, it ain't so bad to have thin crap. Oh, I want to get some too! Kanji, what's Ikayaki? I think Ikayaki is Japanese, but I don't know. Yes, they match. We get I ice cream late. Why were they meeting up at Yukiko's house in the first place? They'll show up sooner or... Whoa! Isn't that them? <laughs> Sorry we took so long. It took us some time to get dressed. You have to wrap towels inside, so they're not as breezy as everyone says. It's kind of hard to walk. <laughs> Nana-chan, you look so cute. I'm head over heels for you. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> you see, you're not a six-year-old girl. That's, that's Honey, so that's crazy. so nice. Does the sight make your heart skip a beat? What do you mean, actually? Sheesh, how embarrassing. Kanji, what are you looking away for? Don't tell me you're ashamed to look. What are you, a monk? He. He's a monkey. That ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute, Conti. Hey, thanks for looking after her. <sighs> this is how it it's was on the anime. <laughs> Did they now? All right then. You want to go over and do the target prank? Uh, I mean, game with me. I'll take care of Nanako from here. It's only a few times a year that this town gets charged up like this. You kids should go and have fun. Hmm. A summer festival. A couple walking together at a festival. Unused to wearing it, the girl's kata <laughs> comes loose. Summer has begun. What kind of tagline is that? We gotta go two by two. Rawr! Two by two? See, I've been thinking. It's the summer. You're wearing yukata and we're at a festival. It's just wrong for guys and girls to walk around in a huge group like this. We should couple up while we're here. It's the natural way of things. What the hell are you babbling about? I'm with Teddy. Come on, Senpai. Why wear Yukata in the first place? So we have memories we can remember fondly, right? <laughs> so we should pair off right away. Reese, what a terrifying girl. You got a point, though. Good memories. Uh, I'm fine, too. Oh, well, what I mean is, uh, count me in. <laughs> All right, y you guys decide how we'll split up. Huh? Seriously? It's up to us? Uh, uh, All right. 
Three guys and three girls. What should we do? Three guys? Aren't you missing one? <sighs> what? Oh, me, him, and Kanji makes three. What? You did that on purpose! <coughs> can I really do this? Oh yeah, you can barely look at him. No way. I can look at him. It'll be a cinch. Just you watch. Nah, you should bail, Kanji. It'd be best for everyone that way. What? You don't believe me? Well, I've made my decision. Hey, wait till we're done for that. I want Chie Chan and Yuki Chan and Misei to be my partner. Really, Kitty? That's not a decision. Dude, you're the one who said we gotta pair off in the first place. I ain't joking here, Ted. If you try and butt in on this. That's right, Kanji. This is serious business, and you're a true man. A true man wouldn't be prancing around with other girls at a place like this. Okay. How much more can you butter him up? Kanji, this is a test to see if you can uphold your status as a true man. <sighs> now no one will be left out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Teddy, you said it. Okay, come here. Dude, come on, don't fall for that. It's decided. I'm going with all of you. Huh? What's going on? Oh, well, there were too many guys, so someone would have been left out. I just couldn't let that happen. What? <laughs> I see. You're so kind, Teddy. We let them decide, and this is what we get? Oh well, let's go then. We fail, huh? An epic fail. Hey, Kenny! Why are you buying another idol's photo? Mine's in there too! No, oh, what's with this? <laughs> Teddy, get, get your hands off my butt. There is only a few days left in the summer break. What should you do today? Summer break continues with summer festival is being held with the shrine today. Who wants to hang out with you today? Rich Hey, I don't know what you know. Do you have any time to stop right now? I Wow, that's incredible! <laughs> really? <laughs> you know someone took the blood and told me I look like an apple, so I have the weird affinity for them. Can you buy one after you make the wish at the shrine? You made your wish from the bottom of your heart. Previously. 
Shower pan so you can apples. Hello there, I got some best candy apples in town. Hello there, little girl. Are you an elementary student? Huh? I'm not an elementary student. Hey, you must be in middle school. Then here is a hall then I'll give you a free lottery ticket. I'll get a chance to the lottery at the quarry when you buy something from the shanty. Prize range from cheap trinkets to fabulous money. Magnificent night. Alright, I'll give it a try. I choose a little bit. Alright, two else. Alright. I'll eat both of it. One <laughs> for Senpai and the other for Senpai too. What? Wow, look Senpai, they're so small and cute. I want snuggles. This should turn to be fine to put goldfish in a turtle aquarium, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! Did I win something? You sure did, Six Prize. Six, what is it? Prize is a book, but it's maybe too hard for you to read. Maybe I should give it to your brother then. Go home after saying goodbye to Ayana. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. I'm going to go to the music party to oops, daddy, with the cheese. Yeah, it's a crazy girl. Why don't you be mad and you run away? Why were you just only for? Yeah, you just have to say I said, you know, I mean, you know. Shut. Speaking of which, what, what's up with you go lately? I thought of the other day. Being weirdly cheerful, she has a funky laugh, you know? That funky laugh, that's how she really is. Oh, you rubbed off on her, huh? I can't believe it. That's not you, because I'm she was a better girl. I just remembered, way back, I saw your girl sitting by the road, holding a dog. Asked her what's up, and she said she ran away from home. She picked up the dog, but her parents told her she couldn't have a pet, and she hit, she had to get rid of it. She looked like she was dead or something. I tried everything I could think of to make her laugh. And that's how you, we became friends. From that moment on, I told myself I'd protect you. But somewhere along the way, I just said that that should have popped out. After that, I thought I'd try to focus on what's good with me. I swore to quit being nothing but the girl you go kept to cry off. So I just tried my best. I find the culprit and stuff and generally being more reliable that I feel like I missed it.
I think there's anyone out there who can say this is what makes me worthwhile. I guess everyone's looking for it. Chie was able to step forward and face herself. You feel the relationship with Chie has grown yet deeper. And Chie said to knock us for so long that she's so late. Your power can be pursued to the carry our time has grown. Oh yeah, that dog you go picked up? It's gotten really fast. Come by and see it sometime. It smells but it's cute. Yeah, I'll walk it over to your house. <laughs> oh good. See you later. He talked to Chie about various things while I was going home. Dang it. So, staying that night, we won't be able to hang out with anyone or do anything. In the I'm going over to bed. I can't get this voice out of my head. I, I keep wondering if that right when the kid tossed out, my little clock is the shortest around here. If he finds it now, he'll just feel better. Now that I'm not waiting in the area. Hey, mister. There you are. Downtown was really happy. I've been looking for you ever since. Okay, quit calling. Oh, forget. 
Can you make some more, Mister? My mom really wants one. Sometimes mom wants one too. She said they'll pay you. Pay me? I didn't need that. I, it, it, I, <laughs> I have a pro or that. Anything. My mom wants a cat, and sometimes mom wants a dog. And my teacher wants a pink alligator. What? A <laughs> pink alligator? A pink alligator? Oh, like that one. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um. Pink alligator. What a story was based off a uh, social work on Persona Three, I believe. Fine then. I'll go. I'll get around to it sometime. Yay! Thank you. Remember you promised. <clears throat> and now I just realized that strange situation I got myself into. It. Good. I don't really know. I'm just tilting his head. When I was in elementary school, I fixed a classmate's bag this one time. Thinking back, I guess I liked it. I did. I only did it to make her happy, but next day, all the girls were making fun of us. What? That's messed up. She cried. I don't understand why, but you know, I thought I'd done something wrong. I never thought I'd be thankful for doing this stuff. Ah, I feel so good. Here you thank you. Here and thank you. I like you. Kazi's laughing sheepishly. You feel you understand Kazi even better. Ah, rank six. Yay. We're almost done with Kazi. Kazi. So he's gonna make dolls for that kid's mom and. You decided to look over Nanako's homework. I have to write three proverbs for my homework today. Stand the one is um, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Dad always tells me that one. Who could that be at this time of night? Who could that be? Just get a came by. Yeah, the little event going on at Jonas today. Here's a souvenir for you, Nanako. Oh, you're doing your center homework? I feel sorry for you. Alright, I'll help you now, Sam. Oh, um, Proverbs. Uh, uh, oh, I have one. Kagito ergo sum. What? That's not even English. Don't you pick... Where did you pick that line? Don't catch pearls before swine. More like something you'd say. Just get a teddy help not go finish your homework. We're getting closer to everyone. The relationship with Nanako is going to become closer soon. After putting Nanako to bed and saying about Yosuke and Teddy, you went to your room and that baby's what? Ooh, ee, ooh, ooh, ah, mm, ang, walla, walla, ring, ring, Who could that be tonight? Someone here today too? Yeah, and you told me that. Ooh. I heard from Yosuke that Nanako Chan is doing her homework, so I'm here to help that. You're writing an essay. Have you decided on the topic yet, Nanako Chan? Not yet. Let's see. How about the time when you went to festival? Yes. Oh, that's right. If Yosuke was so good, I had so much fun.
Yeah. Okay, what are you making? Huh? Oh, okay. There it is. Bye. Okay, guys, sorry about that. You finished today's training and decided to stop by with you. Today's baseball day and you just wait. I don't have any more. Wait, what? Don't tell me they're right there again. Let's go, you can. How are you doing? Okay. Uh, huh? No, oh, I'm not hurting it. Uh, ha ha ha, I know how to handle this bitch. Uh, you look like you got something planned. Help! Yeah, this chick, and he wants help. How do you know my name? Me ran into the guy you saved last time. He had a friendly gun just does all kinds of stuff, like, where you live and... Oh, that trusted you, though, son of yours. What are you trying to pull? I'm just gonna have a little chat with this kid. Stay put, okay? Cause who knows what will happen to you and you feel sudden. You get in our way. Ah, man, I said. Why are you? He's a fucking good. Yeah, we can't let these guys get away. Chief's very mad. You sure about that? So you don't care what happens to your best friend? Ugh, fine, then hit me. You pissed me, you pissed at me, right? Then why don't you just take a swing at me? I'll fight back. Be my guest. The face that guy just put your target as hard as you want. Come on. Freak. What's with this bitch? She's for real weather, man. It's good. Did miss? Thank you. Uh -huh. Huh? Um, no, don't worry about it. The kid ran away. Ah, my heart's still pounding. But oh, that's the thing. She's found yet, and you feel the relationship she has grown yet deeper. Uh, huh, I don't know what to say, Frank has. She ate up the knockout strokes of Lincoln as we slow nine, your power grade persona is the cherry of the finest ground. She ate determination in battle has been enhanced. She can now endure moral blow during battle, even though I'm never going to use her ever again. Um, well, I have to protect you. I might be a little flicky, but um, maybe you don't need protecting, but I protect you. The mood is right. How are you already in a relationship with another girl? What should you do? Um, okay. Sure, this is me we're talking about. Chief, let's just... There's no turning back. Your relationship with Chief has become intimate. This, uh, um, this is embarrassing. You spent a long while with Chief, um... Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. In the next episode, we're gonna do some more social links. And I don't know, we'll end it after this. She said, I look over and not her summer. Today's homework, I have to write a book report. I always finish reading books, so... Now I can put an effort into her book report. He was all alone with Dad. I'm Mick Bro, do you have a bill on your own? Now, after Nanako finished her report, you put her bed and return to your room. And that's the end of this episode, guys. So, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye.